Hey everybody and welcome back. Chris Lazarus here, Principal Broker of Select Realty. And today we're talking about getting started. So if you've been following along in this buyer series, we've answered several questions so far and we're gonna continue to answer questions throughout the remainder of this series. So please make sure you click subscribe, hit the little bell so you don't miss when we answer some more questions. Now, without further ado, let's dive on in. All right, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we're talking about getting started in that real estate transaction. So now we've talked to the lender. We know what we need to do financially. We've coordinated. Uh, we know that our down payment, so our down payment is going to be somewhere between 3.5% and 20%, depending upon our finances. And now we're ready to hire an agent. So what we're going to do now is we're going to interview agents and things we want to focus on our past sales, confidence, a marketing presentation, and they wa you want them to be able to answer one question really well. And that question is, how are you different than every other agent out there? And why are you better? You'd think that that's an easy question to answer, but I often interview agents from across the US when I need to uh, introduce them to a client or a friend or family member that might be moving to their area. And I will go through a lot of agents before I can find somebody that actually answers that question in a satisfactory manner. If you can answer the question of how you're different and why you're better, that question means that you, or the answer to that question means that that agent has given their business a significant amount of thought and they've put processes in place to make sure that their client experience is more likely to be successful and enjoyable for everybody than a, just a transaction. So uh, that's something you want to focus on. You want to focus on experience. How well are they doing? If they're a new agent, do they have a good team behind them that knows what they're doing? It's not a bad thing to hire a new agent. These are people that are going to build successful careers, hopefully, but you do need to make sure that they have a good team behind them. Now, once you've found a great agent, it's time to do the fun part, the home tour. And as you're doing this, we, we have to do the pre-lender thing first because that way we know how much home you can purchase and how much home you want to purchase. Because oftentimes you may want to purchase a lot less than what you can actually afford. So once you know how much home you're going to buy, you also need to know where you want to buy. So this is important because if you want to spend $300,000 but where you want to live costs $600,000, there's a disconnect. And we have to make sure that your price point lines up with where you want to be and that you're comfortable with that. Otherwise, there may need to be some reassessed values. We help you work through those challenges. So once you figure out where you want to be, you know how much you're going to spend, you've got your agent, now the fun begins, we start searching homes. Now what we do is we send you some more internal data than what's available publicly. We use some software that are gonna alert you the moment that a property that hits your criteria, so something that you would possibly like, the moment it hits the market, you're gonna know. And we're gonna try and set up that showing same day or next day if you're unavailable to give you the greatest chance of winning out on that property. Here's why that's important. Because a lot of agents are part-time. You wanna work with a full-time agent because a full-time agent can stop whatever they're doing to go show you a house. A part-time agent might be stuck in another job and you might miss out on your dream house because your agent couldn't get off work to show you. So, make sure you're with a full-time agent. So as we go through this process, you're quickly going to learn this is not HGTV. It's completely different. We're not going to show you three homes and you love one and buy it. That has happened probably less than five times in my entire career. And I've sold a lot of homes. So we want to make sure that you understand the process. And usually what happens is we end up starting with a broad search, right? So you can see everything that's out there. What, and then you can determine what you like and don't like for the area. 
Now, as you figure out what you don't like and what you do like, we're going to refine the search and we're going to refine the homes that we show you so that we're getting closer and closer and closer to that perfect house. So throughout that whole process, it usually takes more than three homes. On average, the, the average buyer is going to see somewhere between seven and 13 homes. It's a lot of work and it's a lot to look at. But we're going to make sure that you understand the whole process as we go through it. Then as we get started, it comes down to finding the house. And when we find the right house, that's when we start the offer process. So stay tuned as we go into the next video series and we're going to cover the offer process and the early contracts over the next few videos. So if you have any questions, as always, our contact information is below. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and stay tuned as we answer all of your questions for the home buyer process.